Hello, Thomas and Sue. Uh, thanks for getting in touch with me through um, Alignable. I just joined um, Alignable and I'm getting to see it's really good for networking. Uh, my name is Charles Marine. I'm with Wadi Digital, like you already know. And um, I wanted to shoot you this video to give you three tips about your website and um, how you can get more traffic going to it. To it. Um, I'm, usually I like to do this for business owners because number one, I know that they don't have the time to uh, analyze the website as much. And number two, there are tons and tons of different SEO experts out there. And I think I'd just like to um, to prove myself by giving you some free tips that you can implement now with your website person or with the uh, with your current SEO person. And uh, hopefully you'll get more traffic to your area. So the three tips I want to talk about are content, citations, and backlinks. Content has everything to do with uh, what's in your page here, all the text, all the text behind the pictures, um, all the pictures also. And what I mean by behind the pictures is what the pictures are saved as. Um, for example, I'm trying to see here if I can just yes, save them as. So it's a private boat, boat tour scenic short. Yeah, in fact, let me highlight everything. Yep. Everything in blue that is considered content. Now Google likes to see about um, 1,000 to 1,500 words of authoritative content, and by authoritative, what I mean is um, text that shows exactly what you do, who you are, um, all the services, and different locations that you're at, and uh, basically shows that you are an authority in uh, whatever niche you're in. Also, um, it really helps to have saturated within your text um, keywords and by keywords I mean um, the words that someone would search for while looking for your service um, within a location for example um, if someone wants to search for a Sunset Cruise Orlando they'd probably type in Sunset Cruise Orlando and these are, these are the results page that comes up first thing we'll see here is what's known as the map pack and I'm going to talk that about that in a few minutes and then you have your organic search result listings, which I will also get to um, in a few minutes. So um, back to keywords. Now I just wanted to show you now if someone searches for Sunset Cruise Orlando, I have a tool called AREF. It's a popular tool that's used to analyze websites and um, keywords as well. Now I plugged in Sunset Cruise keywords and I can tell that about 80 people search for that per month. So out of those 80 people, Google says about 70% of them will click this first page and not move from this first page. So it's important to rank for that keyword, Santa Cruz Orlando, and be able to grab part of that uh, traffic, the 80 people per month. So I'm going to use a uh, competitive, your sailingorlando.com, because I see them here. They're high in the, um, in the organic searches. And when we go back to the tool and look and investigate Sunset Cruise Orlando by domains, I can tell that here they are sailing Orlando and they are getting 10 people per month going to their website um, from, from this search alone. And if we look at the results again, we can see that they're doing that because they're here on the front page. Now, it doesn't mean... Uh, 10 media clients because I'm not sure what their conversion rate is, but they're driving a lot of traffic just uses using this one keyword. So back to you. So that's what I wanted to talk about content, having good keywords that you know people are searching for on your website um, and uh, optimizing with uh, 1,000 to 1,500 words of text. Second thing I wanted to talk about is citations. And that has to do with the area I spoke about before, the map pack. So when you search for Santa Cruz or Orlando, um, I guess there's no Google ads here, which is a good thing. So all you see are the organic results in the map pack. Now, how do you rank here? How did these guys get here? Well, it has to do with citations. A citation is anywhere, any directory on the internet that your name, address, and phone number are stored in, are cited in. So for example, Yelp, Yellow Pages, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, 
yext superpages.com etc all these different um different directories the more authoritative and the more that you're ranking in the higher you'll appear in this area here um, there are tools out there like uh, WhiteSpark. Um, um, I'm blanking for some reason, but there are tools out there that you can look at up at different. Oh, Bright Local is another tool that you can look up um, um, what directories your competitors are in and make sure you put yourself in those same directories. But more than that, to make sure you stay on top of here and get their search traffic. Um, I would actually double the amount of citations that your competitors have. Last thing I wanted to talk about, which is backlinks, that has to do more to do with this organic section here. Now, if you think of the internet as a whole connection of pages, a backlink would be where one web page links to your web page. A different web page is driving traffic to your web page through a link. That's known as, as a backlink. Now, not all backlinks are created the same because if a backlink link from a pizza shop is linking to your um, to your service, Google can tell. Okay, that seems a bit spammy because you're not in the same niche. Whereas if it was a boat a boat company forum in uh, in the northeast had a blog post written and had a link to your website google count then as stronger now using the same tools arefs i can analyze your site and see how many backlinks you are have um, how many organic keywords you're ranking for actually let's take a look at that because i just spoke about it so here's sunset cruise around orlando your position is 52 in google that's why you're getting almost no traffic now um, let's go back to the backlinks this tool can analyze backlinks all your backlinks that you have now what is uh, interesting is if i go to your competitors and i'm going to do that because i know they're ranking third for uh, third here so i can show you an overview of their website uh, let's get a better view they have a lot more backlinks than you do, and they're ranking for a lot more organic keywords. So you can simply go in and look at the domains that the backlinks are coming from, or actually look at the backlinks. You can see a lot of them are directories here. So it is possible to go in, analyze your competitors' backlinks, and make sure you're dominating them. You have the same ones and much more. Um, same thing with organic keywords whatever keyword like here um, Orlando sailing now I know you don't do sailing so let's take something more apl applicable boat tours Orlando there's 900 people searching for that per month and they're number 20 they're getting 2.4 people coming to their website because of that um, I want to see what they're also ranking higher for so let me just look at this excuse me okay here sailing Orlando Orlando sailing and I'm just looking at the traffic that's coming actually that's how I should arrange it so they're getting a lot of traffic from Orlando sailing and from parts of the sailboat if you were in the same business and were to be able to rank I mean have this on your website saturated uh, in a good ratio then you'd be able to grab a lot of this volume actually a lot of this traffic because you'd be ranking higher so if you put all those three things together citations um, backlinks and content you'd start to rank higher and higher and grab all those keywords um, grab traffic from the keywords that people use Thank you very much. I'm glad I kept this under 10 minutes. I did want to keep it closer to five minutes, but I hope um, I've helped you learn, um, help educate you a little bit. And also you can give this all over to your website person or your SEO person. Um, 
no harm, no foul. If you're interested in working along with me, you can um, give me a call anytime, contact me on, um, on Alignable, etc. Thank you very much.